We're on top of this breaking news. Take a look here. Sky Fox Live over the 10 freeway shut down in both directions in Monterey Park. It's been closed for hours after a police shooting left a suspect dead. Welcome to the Fox 11 News on a busy Friday there at 5 o'clock. I'm Christine Devine. And I'm Alex Michelson. Christina Gonzalez live with new details on what happened and that major backup. Christina. Yeah, we're off of Eastern, and you saw at the helicopter just the amazing closure that this is. It has been going on since then this morning, and it's not only the problems with traffic, it's the people on the businesses, the McDonald's, uh, gas stations, everything that is closed, and officers here are telling us they really don't know when they're going to reopen the freeway. As you said, we do now know as much more about what happened. Here it is. Check it out. On one side of the 10 freeway, a trio of Monterey Park units behind a white BMW. On the off-ramp, the body of the driver of that vehicle, who according to investigators, was being pursued when Monterey Park units recognized the vehicle and the driver as suspects for a March 14th robbery out of LAPD's Hollenbeck division. The suspect failed to yield and a pursuit began on the westbound 10 freeway. We believe he shot rounds during the initial pursuit and then he shot rounds while fleeing on foot towards the Monterey Park officers. Who shot back at the man whose body came to rest on the off-ramp? There's a handgun at the scene next to him, a semi-automatic handgun. The deadly officer involved shooting is being investigated by LA County sheriffs who've kept the freeway closed to most of the day gathering evidence. The traffic nightmare extending beyond the freeway to side streets. It's a real inconvenience. We lived in the middle of the street and we we didn't know what was going on. We thought we were going to come down this way, and now it, it's blocked all around. What are they saying? You can't get through, huh? No, not at all. And you're looking back live at Sky Fox now. The closure has changed back and forth. At one time, on the west end, it was from the 5 freeway, and on the east end, it was from the 710. But you can see, avoid this area completely if you can. Until you see a coroner van appear next to that body, we're not going to even get close to the closure time. Usually when that happens, and that is why we're not getting an identity on this man at this point, is that until the coroner picks up the body and takes it back to their office, we're not going to get that information. And that usually happens, it takes about an hour once the coroner gets here, but no word on when the coroner is going to arrive, so it's going to be a while. So avoid the area. I'm Christina Gonzalez, live in the, the off here, the uh, eastern, the eastern off-ramp on the freeway, which is uh, Lake Uteris area, more or less, not Lake Uteris. Um, you know, I've been running around all day, but towards East L.A., not quite East L.A., is that area that is undescribed. But again, disclosure, and that is why it's confusing. It goes all the way to Monterey Park on the west end, and it goes down to downtown L.A. on the east end. So all of, from here, I'm Christina Gonzalez, live. Back to you guys. Christina, I don't know where I am half the time in the studio, so <laughs> I totally feel you. Thanks for that reporting. New